Hi, I'm Jackie. I'm a pharmacist intern here at Kelly Ross Pharmacy Group. And a question I get asked a lot is, what's the difference between an ointment, cream, and lotion? So I will take the next few minutes to explain to you the key differences between these formulations. First, I will discuss ointments. And when I think about ointments, I think about Vaseline or Neosporin. And they usually feel sticky, greasy, and thick. And that's because they are primarily made of oil. The high oil content in these products allow it to sit on the skin for a longer period of time and it takes a longer time for it to get absorbed. This provides prolonged contact of the medication with the skin. Uh, ointments can also be used as a protective barrier as it traps in moisture and keeps the skin from drying out. All right, next we have the creams and creams differ from ointments in that they contain less oil and more water. Creams are usually smoother and more spreadable and they are absorbed quicker into the skin. So your doctor may prefer this formulation if they want your skin to absorb the medication quicker. Next we have lotions. And lotions are very similar to creams, however the main difference is that lotions are more fluid and more pourable. Lotions are used to spread over larger areas of the body, for example sunscreens. So now I will show you some samples of the formulations we talked about today. Here I have the ointment. As you can see, it's a little greasy, thick. Um, that's because of the higher oil content. Next I have the cream and the lotion. They do look very similar. However, the cream is a lot thicker than the lotion. I hope that was helpful, but if you do have any more questions, please feel free to contact our Kelly Ross Compounding Pharmacy and they will be glad to answer any of your questions. Thank you.